Joe took a couple of bottles along to the ground with him, and we knocked them off before half time. The first quarter was a bit slow, but the play livened up a little in the second. There are a couple of women standing just in front of us. They were screaming the whole day long. Not that they were interested in the game, though. One of them, who had a mop of flaming red hair, kept getting hysterical. She kept yelling out all the time how one-sided the ump he was and she was carrying on about a favourite pin-up boy getting mutilated and all that. That's one reason I never take my wife to the footy with me. She gets too excited and carried away. Women are always abusing the umpy, just like this one here was. Of course, I don't mind admitting that the umpy was a bit one-sided. But I wasn't paying that much attention to the game myself, nor were the others for that matter. Fred won at Mooney Valley and Joe won at Rose Hill, and I lost at Warwick Barn. Just after the start of the second quarter, there was a punch up in the centre of the ground. One of our fellas laid out one of theirs in his back and three of their blokes started roughing their jab up a bit. He took them with the help of a couple of his mates, because they wouldn't have liked to see any fight on all his own. Then the umpy started taking their numbers, just like picking them out of a hat. They all seemed to quiet them down a bit after that. though we were kicking with the wind. We'd caught them in a few minutes, but then they started to pull away again. By the end of the quarter, there were a couple of goals ahead, leaving our blokes a tussle with the breeze blowing in from the railway end. These dames just in front of us were still screaming and carrying on. Worse than before, beats me where they get the blooming energy. The red-haired one been going strong all day, almost as loud as a siren. And even though she was a bit hoarse, she seemed to be just warming up. These women sure get enthusiastic. I never get all that carried away myself. You see, I had bets on both sides, so I couldn't lose. Of course, I like to see our boys win. Been following them for nearly 20 years now. Anyhow, we had a couple more cans we'd bought at half time. I was starting to feel a bit drowsy. I always get like that after my first few beers. Then our blokes put up a stink of a boy. A few minutes before the siren, O'Brien took a mark about 60 yards out. No one thought he'd put it through from there against the wind, but I don't reckon I've ever seen a better kick than that one. 
five minutes to go. We're only one goal down. I almost forgot to listen to the last of Bloody Valley. And these Danes are still screaming, just like my wife when she gets mad at me for something. But I never get carried away myself. <laughs> Still, it sure is a good thing to see our boys pull it off. They're looking a pretty good thing for the premiership this year. Anyhow, just as we were leaving, a bloke started abusing a cop and picking the bloke in front of him. Of course, we weren't going to get involved ourselves, but it sure adds a bit of colour if I us. I'll be going to the rest of the games of the season. We're going to have a walk over next week playing the lowest team. Our boys will just have to count it as a practice match.